right, a very good morning to you and welcome to Dr. Jesus Carlos Speaks. It is seven minutes past the hour of ten. My name is Ginika Olwa. I've reported for DTS always. The Southeast Media aid to Dr. Joseph Carlo is also here. Honorable Mad Kukuru. Honorable, good morning. Welcome. You are looking so fresh. Thank you, Ginika. The elections are over now. At yes. least uh, everything is calm now. Yes. What are the lessons drawn from that election? Well, first of all, uh, it was an election that has left deliberate mark on the times of time. This is election not about personalities, but about people that can deliver. And we all know that uh, my own brother, a well-educated man, mascot uh, Ozo Kahlo, uh, a man who's coming wealth of experience uh, outside uh, politics and in politics, because he was a former chief of staff here in Abia State. A young man who has the, the foresight, a young man who has the ability to deliver, a humble human being, and uh, whatever that has happened has happened. But the most important lesson is that violence does not beget violence. What transpired in this election was something none of the grown-ups can ever have their children be a part of. A lot of them that call themselves whatever name you want to call yourself, you feel you are tough, you feel that you can disenfranchise other human beings, and you think that you can come and get away with it. You can get away with so many things, but you can't get away from Almighty Jehovah, who sees our innermost heart. What transpired in Abba is something not to be talked of. You cannot imagine in Abba, Abba, not Abba South, can only boast of less than 20,000 people that came out to vote. Because some folks wanted to thwart what is right, to turn it to what is wrong. What transpired at sports complex, what we call Abba Sports Club, can never, ever be forgotten. What transpired at Abia Poli, can never ever be forgotten. You know, people were expecting us to unleash mayhem. Can you unleash mayhem on your fellow individual? Most of those folks that were carrying uh, arms, uh, moving from one polling unit to other, screaming, thinking that they can destroy Abia State. You cannot destroy Abia State. Abia State remains the same. Most of the people that were expecting my principal, distinguished Senator Oji Uzokalo, a statesman, the Iroko of Africa, to turn around and just make a witch of his fingers. If he snaps it, Abba will be, will be a different thing. But he couldn't have done that because Ojo Zokalo loves peace. Because Ojo Zokalo believes that politics is not a do or die affair. Uh, you cannot imagine uh, blood being let out just for somebody to go to Abuja. Is it fair? Is it fitting? Is it proper? And Ojo Zokalo has done what he is known for. A man of peace. If we all go back when he was a governor of Abia State, and the houses were being slaughtered here. It was Ojo Zokalo who saved the, 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 the houses. It was Ojo Zokalo who rebuilt the mosque. And when you talk about mosque, you talk about the heart and soul of Allah. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. And this is vintage Ojo Zokalo. What people expected Ojo Zokalo, the distinguished senator, the statesman of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and a presiding officer of Nigeria's Ninth Senate. They were disappointed. But Ojo is a man that works with God. It's a man that bears his cross. And if you try to do that, which God does not design, it's only God that will speak for you and against you. Now, so we, we, it, it, it was a terrible lesson. But we are happy that the mascot has uh, shown that he's an educated man. He's a man who has been exposed in America. You know, when we lose election, whether you get or not, you have to concede defeat. And we have conceded. And it's God that is going to decipher the good, the bad. Now, now uh, uh, your your candidate in that election, Honorable Mascot Uzokalo, yes. raised concerns as regards to you know the electoral process and all that. Let's yes. look at that electoral process. Yes. You know we've talked about it on this platform, and we said that uh, even the voter party that we that was witnessed during that contest, many people didn't turn up. Voters in Abba because they were scared. Much. Yeah, they were scared. so you know, and uh, the rest of it. Now the issue is, what about the process? Most of them may not believe. Uh, in the process of that uh, contest, probably yes. because of uh, the hate speech that characterizes them, probably the process, credibility matters a lot. Yes. Do, do you, uh, and Mascot also said there's a need to reform the electoral laws yes. 
of this country. Yes. What's your take on that? Of course, he spoke. He spoke very well. If you had read his uh, concession speech, you see how he wanted to ask uh, Abians to look forward for the better days. You can also understand what uh, Abu Mascot Uzokalo said. You can see the young man from his heart in saying it's not a do or die affair. There are things that are wrong in our electoral system. Uh, you have individuals that came from other local government like Ubiomangwa, like Isioma, Isi, uh, uh, per se. They weren't registered voters in Abano Tabasa. It is something every Abian need to ask himself or herself. Sir. Is it possible that Aba Enyimba, Nzobu Nzobu Enyimba City, can only boast of 20,000 people that will come out to vote? Less than 20,000. It is it's not fair. It is not fair. Election is not about toggery. And that's why we want to enlist our law enforcement officers to be on their toes. We need to know how we restrict the law enforcement officers uh, 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 at the post, where they can see that, where they can stand by, and uh, monitoring what was happening. You know, uh, most of them, they, they, they couldn't believe what happened. There were some law enforcement officers that I spoke with. They were not happy in what was happening. The law enforcement officers said, no, this is a charade. People were rigging election openly. In Abia Poli, there are a lot of uh, uh, political appointees in the other political party, PDP, that were there. I don't need to call their names because the election is all over. But what I'm saying, in the sports complex, what we call Abba Sports Club, where we, when we were growing up, this is where we know. They rigged it, they rigged it blazingly. And all we're saying, when you talk about rigging, is it proper for us to dwell in rigging election? Why don't you allow the people? to vote and decide who represent them. And now, we can also understand that a lot of them, they were, they were scared. Even the other political parties, they were scared because they didn't want to debate uh, Masko Tozokalo. Because Masko Tozokalo had it all. Why would they do chicken out? In America, in civilized world, we are practicing presidential system of government and governance. You must uh, uh, come to a debate. People must watch you. People must listen to you to know what you uh, have to offer. But PDP never had it. That's why they refused to, to participate in that debate. Masko said, let us go the home run. Let us go the whole hog. I'm ready to talk to our It wasn't people. only PDP that refused to participate in dialogue. But the only two, the way, only uh, 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 the, the uh, I've got to. Uh, 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 Honorable Masko Tozo Kahlo and the other fellow uh, 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 OC Prestige brother. Mm. You can see the honesty. That's the, uh, the, the man who has just demised. The man who has just, the brother said, let's go, let me prove to people that I can represent Abba effectively. Why did the other people chicken out? Because it was a ganged up, a ganged up affair. It's knowing that Mascot would have dusted everybody on that debate because Mascot had his own plan in changing the plight of Abba, not Abba's happy. So many people actually disagreed with the fact that uh, some people who had no business in Abba were yes. in Abba during that contest from both ends. You know, from Abga, from PDP, even from your own APC. Yes. Most of them who were not supposed to be in Abba, they were there. Thereby hitting up the politics. No. Don't you think no. uh, that actually no. made the people not no. to come out and vote? No, it's, it's not true. That, that, that did not create their party. I have the right, living in Omai, to go to Abba. We still have a house in Abba. I can go to my, 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 my mother's house and stay. I don't need to come out to vote. But I can go there. So that I'll be in Abba to give moral support to Mascot Uzokalo. That's what most of us did from my party. And speaking from my party, APC, most of us went there to give Mascot Uzokalo the moral support. We didn't go out to the polling units, except you were a party agent. You understand what I'm saying? Unless you're a presiding officer, uh, uh, assuming we know we have our agents, our agents are supposed to be at the poly, various polling units. But none of the, the stakeholders, none of the leaders of APC were all were working from one polling unit to intimidate people. The other political party did it. PDP knew that it was crucial. And even the man, supposedly, one, they, they have been given the, the, the certificate of return, knows with himself that uh, Mascot Ozokalo is the man to beat. Everybody knows. That here is a humble man who said, I have my credential. Everybody should have come out during that debate to say, this is why I want to represent Taba people. You cannot have somebody who was fired by his boss. And then you have that person to go uh, go for an elective position. It does not happen anywhere. In America, it cannot happen. We would have gone to court to challenge. This man was fired. Why was he fired? Because of incompetence. Why was he fired? Because there were necessary things that he's supposed to do. He didn't do. You gave him a political appointment. He did not do what he was supposed to do. Now he said he should go for a elective position. An elective position. So maybe that when we went there, they know what happened. They know what transpired. In the soul of all of them, they know how they read the election. To, to, to take what belongs to Ndaba. It's just because. You don't know Ojuzo Kahlo. If, if Ojuzo Kahlo had that done the way they did, 
I think that would have been mayhem in Abba. But I thank God that in his spirit has a, a peace loving distinction. Uh, uh, and that's why he's a statesman today. As the papa of all papas in the Senate. That is why he showed them that he's bigger than that which you don't know. Will it be right to say that uh, internal wranglings actually cost your party that election? Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, well, you talk about internal wrangling. We don't talk about internal wrangling. But, but Where were you? Where you, at, you don't understand what I'm talking about. There is nothing like internal wrangling. We talk about people reading election. I talk about internal wrangling. Who joga came out there to campaign for 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 mascot or Carlo? Oti campaign for mascot. Oti collapse structure. Who joga collapse structure? No more structure for Oti. No more structure for pull that structure and give it to mascot or Carlo. They were scared. They were scared. PDP were scared. And I'm saying that I, Maduko Kuro, if I were to run for a lazy position, I will answer to any debate so that people will know who Maduko Kuro is. People wanted to know Mascot Ozokalo and what he had in his basket that the other parties chickened out. It was a chickening out and it doesn't happen. And I, again, I blame Nigerian Union of Journalists. You people did not live up to the ethos of what journalists what would they have done? Because everybody wants to be a journalist. Anybody that carries what pen and paper have is a journalist. What would they have done? Yes. The credibility of NUJ is unquestionable. The NUJ would have come for that debate. And when you don't come for debate, it is left for the pen, pen handler to tell the world that this man did not come because of this A, B, B. That is what journalism is all about. Journalism is not about coming and say you open a, a, a blog and then you write the paper and somebody say, don't, don't publicize about this one, you stop. Journalism as, is about being fair. That is why you, they are called the men and women of the fourth estate of the realm. It's not now, a joke. Now let's look at uh, now the elections are over. Now yes. let's look at what these people or the person that have been elected is supposed to bring back home. Considering the fact that we didn't hear much from them, you know, the contestant, the candidate, what can we now say that we should hold this person or that person who actually participated in that election to hold into account to make sure that he delivers? Simply, we didn't there hear is much promises. Mascot Uzokalo has said that. We'll give him the chance. He has not even spoken to Ab Abba, not Abasa people. The man who said he won the election. How many of you have seen his picture? How many of you have heard him speak? That is what we're talking about when you want to be a leader. Go and speak to your people. Yes, you won the election. Then speak to the people. If you were Mascot Uzokalo, Mascot would have bought, bought time in various uh, 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 brokers' houses. And he would have talked to the people. Masco would have uh, uh, would have spoken to the people to say thank you for voting for me, thank you for everything you've done. Watch what I will do within one year. What his elder brother, elder brother, did as a distinguished senator within one year and six months. Go to Abia North. Abia North is an Eldorado, and somebody is going to tell me that nothing runs from the blood. If what God gives you is not a gift, that you don't know why you are living to be a human being. I actually want us to look at the issue, issue of uh, respect for leaders of the states, yes. you know, and in the state precisely. You know, before that election, yes. we talked about it even in uh, most of our programs, that uh, the hate speech was just too much yes. from both ends. Everybody that actually participated in that election actually made one or two hate speeches against one another, personal attacks. It wasn't issue based. We didn't see much of that. What's your take on that? No, we. Well, I'm talking about my party, and I'm talking about Honorable Mascot Uzokalo. You people called Mascot here. You listen to him. He said, "If I lose, I will concede defeat, and I'll congratulate my my opponent. But if I win, I want him to do the same thing to me." We did not use any hate speech. Nobody in APC used hate speech. You heard Mascot live. You heard my boss, my principal live. They support us. I mean. Listen, where where did they go? Who were supporters? APC on what program did you hear any APC person getting too personal? You are talking about street politics now. We are not talking about the regular politics where you have to speak to the world. But if you're talking about Tumbo politics, you can go from one corner of Abia uh, of Aba uh, to the other corner of Tumbo Palo, and then you can hear the 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 nitty gritty of uh, local parlance and local politics. So that one is totally different. And uh, what are you talking about respect? And uh, yes. We have to respect each other. In Igbo land, you respect your elder. How can you, because of election, people started insulting their elders? How can you insult a distinguished senator? The only senator in Nigeria today that has inspected his project. The only senator today that has a three-pronged solution to touching the lives of the people. The only senator today that can walk the streets of his own domain and people will beckon on him. The only senator today that anywhere you go in the whole Nigeria, beyond Nigeria, even in diasporas, I'm talking to you, it was only Oji Ozokalo. Name another senator that have done what Oji Ozokalo. A year and six months 
Oji has done what no senator, nobody in Abia, not, nobody in Abia as a senator has done what he has done. And the facts are there. And that is why, that's why I said, why insulting Oji Zokalo? You get, you, they went too, too personal. Even in your own program here, in your own program, no APC leader has ever come to, come to your, your program or come to uh, uh, Flow FM or any other broadcast station to talk down on leader. It was only PDP. It was only the Commission of, of Information that came on this program and had, and had the court to call Senator Ojuz a statesman, a statesman to call him a liar. And that is a hate speech. And you people did not stop it. It was not fair. Ginika, he was not fed. Though he was not, you didn't run the program. He had the God to abuse Oji. He had the God wait, to say so here, many things about Oji. We don't promote his speech. But you, people, sure, you, people, as sure I yesterday, as I yesterday, as I yesterday, as I yesterday, if you listen, uh, we we always uh, want no, our callers my, and everybody no, to be very careful. They did not, they did not, they did not remind him of his speech. You people never did that, and I'm blaming this station. I'm blaming every other station. No, that you don't have to blame Flo FM because we have always want to call, to call, to call a senator a liar. Have I ever used the word liar on any person? I never did that. And John Oki had to go. I know he's regretting. And that's why I challenge John Oki to say, as a commissioner in Abia State, are you talking about personal politics? Are you talking about people's politics? Yeah, from Abreba, when we were growing up in Abba, we call Abreba the small London. The sweat of Abreba made, London, uh, made uh, uh, Abreba to be called small London today. But you, as a commissioner, you have never attracted one project to Abreba or Jules Okalo before he became a senator. Did so many roads. The real road, Abreba Oji did it. Even as I'm talking to you today, Oji is still sweating to make sure Abreba people, Abreba people enjoy dividends of democracy. You have not attracted the governor you are working for to visit your own town. Even the road leading to John Oki is uh, who is the uh, commissioner for information, a young man that should have respected Oji because when Oji was a governor, he was a, uh, was a uh, uh, somebody says man at uh, GB Oliver. No, no, so no, what no, I'm saying, no, not, that, that's not good. No, it's not. It's, we no, are it's talking not about, a hate speech. It's no, not a hate speech. That's a hate you see speech. How you, you see and, what no, they no, do. It's not a hate speech. That's why I told okay, you on so, this platform we don't promote No, wait, that. you cannot defend. No, so it, so I refuse you. I refuse you to defend. I refuse you to defend what is good and to defend what is not good. We want you to make your point, but I do my point. not insult him. Did anyone. I insult him? He okay. was a good man who was working in, a, in an establishment. All I'm saying that Ojo Kali is his elder brother. He should not come on air to insult Oji. Do you, did you listen to his uh, 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 commentary yesterday, written by John Oki? You didn't listen to it. So what am I talking about? I'm not angry with John Oki. I know he's doing a job, but I know behind the scene he will call and ask Oji to forgive him because a lot of them, in PDP are doing same. A lot of them, they are PDP in the morning and then Oji Zokalo at night. But all I'm saying, I will not disrespect uh, Senator T. Oji when we were having problem with him. I will never disrespect Senator Hakot uh, 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 Abaribe. I will never do that. And I have not done that. T. Oji has never disrespected Oji Ozokalo. Mascot Ozokalo, who was a chief of staff to Senator T. Oji, has never, ever disrespected T. Oji. Even when there were, they, they, we, we had this cousin between my boss and T. Oji, though it wasn't anything, Masco still respected T. A. Oji. He never quarreled with him. That is what we call respect in Igbo land. Respect Onye Choro. I want to speak in Igbo land. You cannot come because of the little thing that you've been given and then you think that you can insult somebody who is bigger and who is older than you. I think that respect must be given to whom respect is due. Nobody can come on air. I didn't say again that you cannot criticize my principal if he's doing anything that you think is not palatable, if he's doing anything that is not touching your life. Because why you are busy insulting Oji Ozokalo, you are you are less busy knowing that God will also get somebody that will, will grow up to uh, uh, disrespect you. Why should you be disrespectful? And this is a serious matter. In this politics of Nigeria, that is the bell of Nigerian politics. You don't talk about issues, you talk about personality. I have never come for one to talk anything bad about Governor OPG Bazo. The only thing I said on this program, which everybody must agree with me, is that when Ojo Zokalo was governor, Ojo Kalo was paying paying salary. When Ojo was, was governor, as a deputy governor, Ojo Zokalo was paying pay salary. When Ojo Zokalo was governor, there was free education. When Ojo Zokalo was governor, we were giving a free, free loan scheme to people. When Ojo was governor, and he was at the cultural revolution all the way. When Ojo was governor, Ojo was touching the lives of people. Ojo 
was the embodiment of what life is supposed to be all about. And I'm saying, why then to you the base what Oji Zokala has done? If we talk Oji Zokala, there will be no in Rubu Chadon today. We talk Oji Zokala, there will be no over bridge in, in uh, 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 Ubado today. We talk Oji Zokala because he grew up in Aba. He knows the problem of Aba. But after working in Aba, doing the best that he could do as well. He came to Maya. Most of the roads, you know, Maya was in Lodge of Okala. Cameroon City, many people that are enjoying Cameroon City today, it was Lodge of Okala. Bunny City was Lodge of Okala. Most of these places you go in Abat, you know, Omaha today. Lodge of Okala made, made, made no further. And the most important thing that Lodge of Okala did in this happier state that nobody can disagree is that Lodge of Okala, 97.9% of all political appointees made by Ojo Kalo. Even the governor of Abia said today, they all served Ojo Kalo. And none of them will speak ill of Ojo Kalo. Then why should people that don't know Ojo, because you were brought from Lagos, or brought from Abidjan, or brought from America, to come and serve your people? What I, I advise them is that you talk about the policies of the man you are working for. Don't attack the man that you are not working for. If you disrespect Ojo Kalo, I will tell you that I'm going to use what we call the Cicero Spade to face whatever that you say. But I don't disrespect people. And you should not disrespect, disrespect your, 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 your elder. And that is the ethos of this thing that I tell you. Okay, you, don't, you didn't even ask me about what happened in Aba. There were protests. Ginika, protests over what? Protests over Ojuz Okala. Is it a crime that Ojuz Okala can leave Abuja to come here and say, my party is contesting election. Oji came not because Mascot was his brother. Oji came because Mascot is a part and parcel of APC. Benjamin Carlo came back here because it, uh, uh, Mascot is a part, uh, part, and part, uh, part and parcel of APC. Chijo Kechuku uh, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, representing the Ben the North, he came to Aba to uh, uh, campaign for Mascot. Okoha, representing uh, Chief Okoha, Dr. Okoha, representing Daro Chiku in the House of Assembly, he came down. Uh, Chomen, uh, who is our, our, our caucus secretary, he came down. Uh, uh, Senator Kechin Wogo, uh, former minister, uh, Emeka Wogo, they all came down. Everybody came. Uh, general Hejika, you were in this your program. People were insulting General Hejika and said that look at the general, that he could not even uh, handle security in his squad, and he's talking about being a general. Is it not an insult? Geneka, you, you know that it's an insult. And people were insulting Oji. People were insulting Oji personally. But like, like I've said here, people, like it is with, very wrong. Like, I want to like, use this opportunity to tell that it is very wrong for people to come and insult people like Inyejirika who serve this country meritoriously. It's wrong for people to come here and, and, and abuse uh, uh, Alex Oti, somebody who has served very well as an economist, a well-known economist, somebody who has done so much for them, and not to talk of the Iroko of Africa. Who now, are you? Honorable, you know, about I, like I've account? always said here, that we do not promote hate speech or insult of any type here on flow 94.9 all of us here so uh, you agree with me that we've been doing that even with you so it's really wrong for you to say we allow people to insult uh personalities using our platform that's very wrong we do it's, not promote it's that. not wrong if you still if dr ojo zokalo speaks here liar, on flow 94.9 fm we're taking a breather now honorable one way come back we'll talk about those road projects uh but uh the ones uh, done by your principal attracted by a principal in abia non senatorial zone we'll talk more on that when we come back stay with us at flow 94.9 fm we've got conducive and well secured environment for business high-tech video studio a state-of-the-art production studio you can also listen live on www.flow949fm.com and watch our videos on youtube at flow fm tv flow 94.9 fm not just radio but a complete broadcasting house well, I, I believe that every community should have a sustainable development. And it's based on that. I campaigned here uh, barely one and a half years, two years ago. And I, I told them that I would do this road. They told me that Okpara, that Michael Okpara came here and told them that he would do the road. That Mbakwe came here. Other governors that have ruled this area, they have been here and none of them was able to do it. And this is the same thing that happened in Okono Afia. And it happened in many communities because I'm committed to the act of the people. I'm committed to sustainable de development. I'm very committed for the people to have access to where they live. Okay. I'm committed for cardinal points of my party to make sure that the poor people are taken care of. And you, you can see their schools. 
very bad. And I'm going to start work on those schools because children are not supposed to be there. Okay. Is there okay. any, Your Excellency. any economic benefit from this? Route? Yes, there's, you can see the fab land. You can see that now food items will go to the market and be sold in the market. And factories can come here now because they are sure. Bef where we, these two kilometers we had started with, before you can pass here, these people used to carry cups in their head to pass, like Okonon Hafia used to do. That is the truth. And I see all these things. It's like when I went to the Naba, I saw terrible roads in uh, Amamon. I, I, I cried because when I was governor, I couldn't have seen those things happen. I would put grey dirt there and do these things. I went to Shoemaker Industrial Market. I cried because you can't pass there. I realized it's taken over by water. It never happened when I was there. So leaders must learn how to keep sustainable the, uh, the food. All right, welcome back to the show. It's still Flow 94.1 FM, and this is Dr. Juzo Carlos Speaks. My name is Ginika Olua, and uh, Honorable Madko Koro, the spokesperson to Dr. Juzo Carlos, is also here. Honorable, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Ginika, and I'm thank sure you, the good people of Abia State. Good. I'm sure you listen to your boss there. Of course. It's, uh, you know we had a long day yes, going yes. about this project. For uh, the past two Abia days, North. yes. And he was actually reacting to that road. Uh, you know, half year, Abia or half year. Yes. I understand that that particular people, the people in that area, yes. they've not had um, any possible road yes. uh, for yes. such yes. a long time. For and many years, yes. for many years. Mm. And uh, you see, this is the, the difference between Oji Zokalo as a distinguished senator and other senators. There are senators and there are senators. And uh, Oji Zokalo is a senator. What we are saying, dividends of democracy sound like it's a big grammar. Government House, again, Abuja, Lebo, House of Reps, again, House of Assembly, Ganeko, Nabo, Kemoto. politics. Politics is all about sacrifice. And what Oju Zokalo is doing is what everybody needs to emulate. I'm not saying it because I'm working for him. I say it because this is a man that grew from grass to grace. God has his mercy upon him. This is a man that is bearing cross for other people. This is a man who believes in selfless service to humanity. If you, the journalists, we went with journalists and, and, and some online media practitioners. They saw all these things. When I talk on air, it sounds like a big grammar. A big grammar. What we are saying, go to the villages, guy him, people are suffering. And that is what touches Oju Zokalo. When we were going in, doing the inspection, people were crying. Women were leaving their farmland to hear that Oju Zokalo has arrived. Everybody, when you see them cry, you, even the military, uh, uh, the military personnel that were with us, they were shedding tears. What kind of man is Oju Zokalo that even the wind will stop? People were crying to see Oju. They say, Oju, Chineke, Gozieke, Okpupu Ojo, Oju, Naranozo, Oju Zokalo, Naranozo, Ozo Naranozo, Ozo Naranozo. These are what we are talking about. This is what gives the man joy. He smile, talking, hugging people, people that went to, to, to the farmlands to, to get lumberjacks. He was hugging them. And that's what we're talking about. Now we're talking about Abia. How many, how many, how many senators have gone into the countryside? How many of them? Those people that call themselves senators, how many times have you taken your legs to walk into villages so that you see people that are really suffering? People that cannot even, even uh, uh, take uh, three spoons of garret a day. And here is all Jesus of Carlo that God said, This time I must raise one to myself. This time I must stop the suffering of the people. I must use somebody. And that is all Jesus of Carlo. I wish that he would have opportunity to even touch, touch beyond Abiano. He would have done that. Now, why people were busy protesting wearing black and black? Protesting over Oji Ozokalo. People that don't even know Oji. People that Oji Ozokalo helped. People that were, they were essays when Oji was governor. Oji made them essays. They were busy wearing black and black over one man, over one man, that he opened his mouth and said, Abba must change. Today, while they were protesting, we were doing what we call project inspections. The journalists were there. They saw it. This, uh, this thing I'm talking is not abracadabra. This is real. 
that when you go to Abia, the senator that was there before never never gone in there. This is a place they were going to. You see people not wearing clothes. They don't even know what civilization is all about. Ojo Zokalo walked down to that place to see people. The roads were there. And as a matter of fact, Genika, you remember that he, he got so much touch that even from the 7.2 kilometer road that we have in our face, he said, no, I'll add more kilometrage. This is a passion. This is what you call a leader. Not a leader, suppress, suppress, suppress. We're talking about a leader that understands the plight of the people. When I come here, I'm preaching like John the Baptist, the harbinger of the good things, the harbinger of Ojo Zokalo, who I know, who people know that has the knack to touch the lives of people. That's what he's living about. Oji can eat whatever he wants to eat. There is so, there's nothing God has not given him. What God is challenging him now is say, what I have given you, give it to the people. And that is what he's doing. Can all the senators, somebody the other day, challenge, challenge any senator in Nigeria, say, I'm ready to give 500,000 naira for anybody that bring evidence that a new senator in Nigeria has worked more than Oji Zokalo. Only one year, one year, six months, everywhere Oji Zokalo. Can you imagine four years, Oji as a senator? That is what we're talking about. Now, let's, let's look at our projects. We went to Item. You were there. Went to, went to Abanta. From Abanta to Uvuroba. That's been done. People are dancing, even jumping into the gutter to see Oji. People were grandma. You know when I say, Zaki Osbo, Onyengpongpo, Onyengpongpo, Kobo, Mejizo, Rutelaneba, Ola, Nyane, Lucy. I say, Zaki Osbo, read that. Zaki Osbo went climbing to see Jesus. People were climbing, climbing roof of houses to see Oji Zokalo. Can you imagine? So that they have a glimpse of Oji Zokalo. That's what we're doing. We went from Item. We went Item. Uh, we started going to, uh, 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 where is that place? Mkoro. Mkoro people were crying that Oji was, they have never seen borehole. They've seen what, I'm not an insult to, they have never seen water come out from the ground. And they said, Oji Zokalo, our distinguished senator, Chineke Goziegi, you are broken what we call the ancestral jinx. They have never seen water. Water coming out from the ground. We have given the two motorized boreholes. No body. No water comes out from, from Mkoro. And now, he said there, in the 7.2 kilometer road that we had, coming from uh, Abreba uh, uh, to Amure, from Amure to uh, Titiama, from uh, Titiama to Abaja, come and see the road. People were here. Remember, there was somebody that said that uh, uh, we didn't do anything. You saw the road by yourself. Okay, now let's go still go over to Okokitem because yes. we also visited Okokitem. Yes. And uh, let's hear what your principal said there. I've also asked FEMA. I've asked FEMA to rehabilitate this road from Alai back to Akamitem. FEMA. This is a new thing altogether. That oh, coming this you know, I did this road 20 years ago, yes, sir. and nothing has happened to it. Above Longo Patch, I've asked FEMA to come back and do this road from Alai to uh, Akano. Although we are building new roads between Ameke and Akano, yes. and we are doing another one uh, from Amoko. Uh, from Amoko, Uzoroba and Uzoroba. Yes, yes. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see. If a school learner, I'm a village community, uh, community leader. So be the Iota, not here, because this building can be renovated. Yeah, we will governor. It meet to work again. In fact, all the security risk, you know, all the students have been at school here. And uh, you became a senator, and you remember to come and renovate this class. And this Thank is you. the only senator I had to learn. Menu a project in this world. Oh, no, no, man. So oh, no, man. I do grateful, and we are promising that wherever you are going, I are doing an amma, and we give you hundred percent support. Yes. Thank you, sir. Oh, no. All right, uh, that was your principal there, and uh, yes. people giving him accolades and all that. But it's time for us to open the phone line so that our listener can actually make their own contributions. And the number is to call us 080-8182-6949 or 0811605-2949. You can also send your SMS on 90 8289 I want to repeat here. Please, no insult. Stay on the issue we've raised on this platform. Thank you. Hello? Hello. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, hello. Yeah. Hello. This Good is morning. Uh, welcome. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Thank you. Uh, yes. 
Mr. Badu, I want to make a legacy. I've, I've, I've heard you, your plea, over the, 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 the first days. I've seen the way you constructively put up ideas, but uh, uh, there are a few things I would like you to, uh, to understand. At least, as you mentioned, you've traveled overseas, you, you schooled in the U.S., I call you schooled in the U.S. So we, we should understand the nomenclature of our, our particular political society. Criticism must come. The hazards of insult, these things come, but let us take it with maturity. We are to wear a in common goal. I won't be able Irrespective of the party that we are in now. But you know, the right same party is also suffocating us as Indy will too. So, but let us have one target. Also, Carlo did very, very well when he was his turn as the governor and a senator with all the troubles and troubles he has faced too. But let us move to the next level. I like the way uh, uh, my, my brother, my mascot, accepted this. In fact, it has made him more popular than the person who was born. I have so much respect for him that the man that won the election. Yes, he makes him an exceptional man. That is the unique nature of Nelson Mandela. And he has that in him. So let us build from there. Let us build from Vancouver, Peterness, and things like that. Let's stay focused. Let's take this place to another level. Uh, I like when they okay. see all most of the streets here, the answer is what's your car? All of your car, like, we don't have a mic or things like that. Yes. That is my take this morning. All right. Thank you so much. Hello, good morning. Okay, the numbers again to call are 80 8182 or 8 You can also send your SMS on 90 6510 Hello, good morning. <laughs> Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, welcome. Uh, this is uh, Alexander Parako, calling from Moroboga, in Tumbogo. Welcome, go ahead. Dr. Moroboga, good day. Good morning, my brother from Tumbogo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. What I'm saying, as you are referring, um, putting all these words together, putting them in order, please remember what we over here is a little more. But because of that trip road, we are being cut off. We are going to move to Elections, so you know, we come in, we vote for, for parties that we like, like APC. And of course, I'm the, a fan of APC in the Mozo as a whole. But like, my side is being sidetracked. I don't know why. It's not out of hatred, but maybe it's, maybe uh, you're not being told uh, properly or properly. Please, in those, uh, that, those uh, the road constructions, remember over there. They scored with their loop. Because many times they say, it's too much of us. It's too much of us. They go straight. So I track you off. It's not a in canteen. Okay. As long as you don't know, I'm going to see you in the middle of it. You know, I'm going to see you in the middle of it. I'm going to see you in the middle of it. Amen. All right. You know, I want to say something. I will, first of all, let me apologize to Ndi Tumbuzo. You know, would have been there uh, yesterday, but by the time we got out of uh, Ohafia, it was almost like uh, uh, 6.45. For us to drive from Ohafia uh, to Tumbuzo and then get back to Iberi, it would have been a long, long, long uh, uh, boarding affair. But I want to give you a firm promise that uh, His Excellency, uh, the distinguished senator representing the good people of Abia North, will eventually come to Itumbuzo, then no will be people. You know what you are, this individual I just called, please call back uh, on Flow FM, ask for Guinea and drop your number. I'll get your number and I'll, I'll get back with you. Okay. Hello. Um, hello. Good morning. Good morning. My, my name is Josiah Carlo. I represent the good people of Ibere. Welcome. The Center of SLS. Go ahead. You see, you see what happened in Abaduri mascot election is nothing to write home about because I was there to witness things by myself. All the commissioners, all, all the commission, PDP commissioners, house member, we are there. I, I, I there, there are talks also there. And there. I was among the people that beat in Abiapoli because I just come to witness things by myself. Now we, we are, they are busy protesting against Sergeant Okalo. It's not what you are. It's not what you are talking about. But what you are talking about now is Operation Show Your Project. They okay. have been in the Senate before Ojo Zokalo. What have they achieved? What are they? Hello. In the now you are not nice. Operation Show Your Project. Let them show their own project. Let them show what they've done. With the, well, since they have become a member of Senate or, or the other, but even they include the governor. Let governor point out one thing he have, he have done. 
Let them okay. stop the, the, what they are doing. Those nonsense they are doing. I know they are doing nonsense. Let them stop no, no. it. Because oh, okay, I won't allow you to go that way because you are beginning to cast a passion on individuals and which is not allowed on this platform. Hello? Hello? Hello. Welcome. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Mr. good morning. Mr. Madikos, God bless you. Good morning, my brother. My name is Mr. Ike. Welcome, Sir Ike. I, thank you. I want to first of all congratulate Mascot for his, uh, his vision of uh, maturity and uh, political uh, uh, maturity that he has, and the way he has congratulated the winner of uh, the last election. I also want to condemn the aspect of uh, insult in the name of politics and the hatred uh, in this place. And that is one of the things that affected the Buddha Apathy. And he shouldn't be blamed on any particular party. Whatever can took people from out there, not Bende and all words of uh, part of the state to Abba. It's something that took those people from Mugimba and so on to Abba. These are the same problems. I also want to insist that uh, we should learn to learn politics and politics with uh, honesty and uh, with a good peace of mind. I will not also want to disagree with uh, Madhu Kokoro that uh, all those are kind of met some people in Nada. That's the gospel truth. But I also want him to also agree with us that all of us met Dr. Ojo's or Kalo, governor of other states. Okay. He didn't make his own Thank you, and God bless. Thank you. All right. I agree with you in what you just said. Uh, I will not disagree on that because without people like you, I don't think Oju Zokalo as a then would have been the action governor that is an action senator that is today. I thank you immensely for understanding that. Okay, now on to the SMS line. This one said, Good morning, sir. On Itumbuza Road, what are their fate of walking the road down to Ntalaku, uh, bright from Okopedi? Do you have any projects around that exit? No, Ntalaku is uh, also in Tumbuzo. You know that Tumbuzo is a large center, an economic-based uh, uh, community. Because from Tumbuzo, you get our products and our produce from out there. They have a good uh, economic base uh, because they have a boundary with Akwa Ibom people. And we are doing that. Uh, His Excellency, the distinguished senator, thinks about it, Tumbuzo folks. And that is why for the first time in the history of Ndi Tumbuzo, we went there. Uh, the, the job is still ongoing. We're going to finish it. Uh, Benjamin Carlo, incidentally, had joined his, his uh, Oga, Ojo's or Carlo, to talk the lights of Indy Tumbuzo. Itumbuzo Tumbuzo going to have a double portion. That is what we, we, we have made up mind to be. Or the, his, his Excellency, the District Senator, has also uh, given them a transformer. I think uh, in due time, that transformer is going to be connected. Uh, the thing is, Ojo's or Carlo, there is no place. Even a lie, people that are complaining, are like, we are doing a lie road. People complaining, complaining, complaining. We are doing, most of them don't go home. That is the problem that we have. And what we're saying, we are challenging everybody. Do like all Jews or Carlo. Abia will be a better person. I'll give you an instance. If what my Oga, my principal, is doing in Abia not today, within one year, if the governor of Abia State, he has not visited uh, Itumbuzo, he has not visited Bende, Bende Town, we have Bende Town, he has not visited Ozitem, he has not visited Ibere, the governor, he does not even know most of these places in Abia. And we're saying that if you want to partner with Oji... But it's not right for you to say the governor Don't tell me it's not, don't of... tell me it's not no, right. No, no, no. I'm telling you what I, I know. I, I, you don't, and you are not, you are not from Bende. Christ. You are not from Bende. I know Bende more than you do. And I'm telling you what is happening. Are you telling me it's not right? What do you mean it's not for right? For a governor People, not to know he a not, place he, in Has he been to Zitem? Has he been to Zitem? He might have been to Yusukweto. Don't tell me what I know, Guinea. I'm talking to the people, not to you. Comrade Sonny Amaza said, Abian should stop abusing leaders. They are our pride, no matter the differences. We are together praying for all present and past governors for better tomorrow for Abians. Okay, let's take some calls. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, welcome. Uh, good morning, Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. My name is Victor Kano, speaking from Amoya. Go ahead. Uh, uh, on, uh, I believe uh, politics is not all about uh, internet. I believe uh, politics is all about uh, conviction. What you convince the future, for people will vote for you. So I uh, listened to the conversation last Thursday night, and I heard all that was said by our senator. That one is by on any way. Now, coming to the Abreba issue, I heard you mentioning a ring road being constructed by a senator. I have found out that it wasn't a ring road. 
it was a role by Prince Joshua Mabara, Santo or someone close to uh, let uh, uh, Lord Dike Udenfi's house, and that road was due to the influence of Dubik with uh, our governor then. That was the reason why he did that road, and I think okay. that was the only road he did to the Arabic people on his tenure. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that is tenure. Okay. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Welcome. What's your name? Thank you. Okay. I'm calling you're... from Ajampo. Hello? To do... yeah. I'm calling from Ajampo. Okay. Your line is yeah. not actually clear. But just go ahead quickly in 30 seconds. I I want to share the... this discussion. It's sent on okay uh engineer Dupre, i just hope you'll be able to call us back your your line wasn't actually clear honorable we are actually running out of time yeah what, what i'm trying to say Geneka, uh is that uh abians uh, should stay awake abians should know that uh, this uh state belongs to all of us uh this is not an opportunity for you to lay uh, blame on anybody. This is not an opportunity for you to uh, uh, worship human beings. This is an opportunity for you to re respect whoever that respect is, is, is meant for. I think that's the, the basic element in Igbo, Igbo culture. Uh, I don't think that because of politics you can stand up. It's only in politics that you can stand up and tell somebody to keep quiet. You are elder to keep quiet. It's only in politics. It's only in politics that you can have a bricklayer or a mason to join and then tell you everything that you know and he or she feels that you don't know. It's only in politics that people People do not know who is bigger or who God has blessed. Whatever God gives, God has given you. Take advantage of that gift. And I sit here to challenge anybody against what Senator Jesus or Carl is doing. I'm not saying it because I work for him. I'm saying it because he's a man that I know. He's a man that I love with passion. He's a man that I know that he loves his own people. He's a man that I know that Nigerians love him. He's a man who believes in ethos of one Nigeria. He's a man who believes in green, white, green. And I challenge everybody. When I say challenge, it's just like people like Hukun Kole, who is in PDP, but he, 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 he respects all Jews or Carlo. He works with all Jews or Carlo. He's in synergy. What we're saying, that all elected officials should come together. Benjamin Carlo said it the other day, how he partners with uh, representatives, Abonta, how he partners with uh, other people from uh, PDP. That's what we need because the people are the ones that are going to suffer. When the two elephants fight, the grass suffer. So what I am pleading people to do is that when I give challenge, which Guinea didn't allow me to finish what I'm saying because I am from Bende local government and I'm saying the governor has not been able to visit my local government. He has not been able to know Mkpa people have problems. It's not Toju Zokala as a senator that finished all the problems of Funde Mkpa. It's not Toju Zokala that finished the problem. Even in Koronyi, as if he said in Koronyi, Koronyi people are crying. And they call me, but most of them call, they, they call on air and praise Governor Ikbazo, how good he is in touching uh, about, in building bridge. But in Koronyi people cannot ask, what have you done for us? And in the, in the, in the synergy of the late Dimebu Ujuku, who said, I have given my all to you. What can you give to me? And the same thing I'm saying, Ojus Okalo is going to give all his sweat, all his tears, all his blood for the betterment of the people. Okay. Because God has said, here I am, I will send Ojus Okalo to touch the lives of the people. And may God, the prayer, I don't pray for Oji, the people in the street, the people in the village pray for Ojus Okalo. Let us come together as an entity, as brothers and sisters. Stop all this protest, stop all this, all this uh, politics of calumny. It doesn't work. Don't worship somebody because he is having that person. Because tomorrow it will be a different ball game. I know a lot of you that call me when I get off and say please don't mind me even though I'm in PDP. Don't mind me. You know I'm trying to uh, make sure I, I, I keep my job. Don't keep your job. Don't call me again to keep your job. Don't tell me that you don't like the governor you are serving but you are just working. Don't tell me that. Tell it to him. And if you love Ojo Kahlo, come out plainly and say, Madu Kokoro, I want to work for Ojo Kahlo because he's a good man. Okay. God is using Ojo Kahlo. Right. And I implore all my brothers and sisters Thank everywhere you. in the world to join Ojo Kahlo. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk more. Thank you. Chuck Knuckle. Talk local, man. I like that. Ginika, you All right, thank up, you. Man. Thank you. Grown up to be a big boy. I like that. I like thank that. you, Honorable thank Maduko you. Kuro, the spokesperson to thank Dr. Jesus Kahlo for coming on the show today. And thanks to all of you who participated today on the show. Thank you so much. We'll do this again next week. Today, my name is Ginika Olwaha. Please do stay out of trouble. Good morning. Mm -hmm.